Yorian leading by Yuko. Inside the first minute as well. Just to let you know that the, on the adjoining map, Tobias Engelmeyer of Germany leads in his contest against Miko Salmanen of the Netherlands by Wazari. Strong effort there from Burian, but just losing the shape of that technique towards the end. And Bobier able to step off that and avoid getting caught. Simigeishi missed again, but rolled his opponent over. Couldn't quite keep in control, and now a little bit of danger as Bobier tries to work something on the ground. Looking to pull the arm out. The Hungarian managing to hook his left leg in and make things difficult for Bobier. So the referee calls Mate. scores on the board for Burian coming back again with that Sumigaeshi not quite there two and a half minutes left to go another occasion when Burian has to protect his arm poor position though for the Ukrainian even if he pulls the arm out the angle isn't good and now he changes things and he looks to try some Osai was, but really wasn't going anywhere, and the referee calls Mate. A little over two minutes left to go. The Hungarian leading by two scores to Yukos. There's more than enough time for Bobia to come back into it. Some, some fighters managed to work the clock really well. Burian is doing that right now. Keeping up the rate of the attacks, not committing any errors at all. And looking good for a medal here. Neither fighter in control here. And the referee's going to call Mate. Again, the Sumigaishi, but. Bobir is wise to that now. I don't see him catching the Ukrainian with that technique. Burian is better off employing that as some kind of setup, given that his opponent can see it coming, may get some kind of reaction. Again, spins off that quite easily, almost manages to get past the legs create something on the ground. That's a danger for some fighters. They, they've got a go-to technique, something that they like to rely on. They get into a habit of trying it again and again and again. Sooner or later, they're going to get countered. Half a minute left to go. As I said, Pobier clever enough to work 
hard and keep his opponent on the back foot. Some people in the crowd screaming for Ippon. R ridiculous shout. Nothing in that for Bobier. There's the Sumigoshi again. Might have let that go on for a little bit longer. There was a chance on the arm. He's going to pick up a penalty for a drop. I may have left that and given the penalty after seeing how he worked on the arm. Well, Berdian was clever enough. That was the thing.